let's start off. So, hey, everyone who just joined, I'm happy to have you here. Uh, we have um, we have 70 people right now, so we had about 200 people registering, but we're gonna have a recording of this. So, for those that um, that are not here, uh, we might share the recording. But um, I will have 60 minutes today, 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes for actual presentation. And then we have about 20 minutes for Q&A. So uh, stay until the end and make sure that uh, you guys have, um, you know, I will make sure that I have time to answer all of your questions. So please stay until the end for questions and for some surprises. All right. So obviously um, I will try to look at the chat while I'm presenting, uh, but I cannot promise you to answer questions. Um, but we'll try to make it as a dialogue. So if you have any questions, meanwhile, don't wait until the final Q and A, just drop the chat. I will make sure that I'm looking at the chat while I'm presenting. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, all right. So what I'll do, let me pull the screen right now. I'm doing the presentation here. Um, can you put plus in the chat? If you see it, if you see my, my slides, you should see them right now. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So first off, I wanted to say that my team did amazing, job designing it, but uh, the platform that we we're using, Daimyo, um, some, so it kind of didn't import the design, uh, so I apologize for that. So if you see some weird things about the design, it's it's not me, it's the platform, but we will do a better job next time. So I, I just wanted to kind of apologize for that, all right? So guys, today we're talking about the Clutch. Um, the reason why Clutch is so important for Balkans um, and, and I'm going to talk for about 30 minutes about that, is Clutch and other review platforms are one of the main sources for us as an agency to sourcing great clients. Um, and I'll explain to you in a minute why is that, all right? So first off, I just wanted to say that we've been with, with Clutch since the very beginning uh, days of, uh, of Belkins. Uh, and Every next year, we're trying to push the envelope farther and farther. So uh, somewhere like in 2020, 2021, we, uh, we were um, in the top three positions in Clash. And then now the second, uh, um, second year in a row, we are in the top one position. So I'll tell you what happens if you're to the top one on Clash, right? How many leads you generate? What is the cost and what perks you get? You know, being the um, you know listed as as the number one. Now, um, um, Ant here asks um, um, whether we're going to be publishing it. Yes, we'll publish it on our YouTube as well as uh, we'll send a link to all the people who registered for this. So don't worry about that. All right. So here's what I want you to understand, guys. Like the reason why we are on Clutch is. We not just wanted to look at Clutch as the lead generation platform or tool to generate leads, but also it's a sales tool. It actually helps selling. So you all know a lot of agencies, when you go to their websites, even check out Belkin's website, you go, you see Clutch awards, you know, different uh, tags. You're going to see different testimonials. The reason is that 92% of the buyers um, actually uh, purchase from the company that had trusted review. So I never go and I, I never buy a, you know, a, a software without actually checking the reviews and knowing that this is the top software in, in, in their space, right? 23% of the buyers actually use peer-to-peer -peer recommendation. So that's why communities list to, uh, listings, uh, different people we follow on LinkedIn that have, hey, these are my top five favorite tools. They are very important for us and they affect our buying decisions, right? And then about 25% or 24% of the buyers, they actually also look for information on social. And of course, Clutch is not social, but I just want to, you to understand that this is all our kind of collected things, all right? And that's actually the reason why Belkins was investing so much into being present across all of those platforms, um, is that it's a, it's, a, it's a sales tool for us, right? Um, all right, so basically what it does for us, lead acquisition, uh, we generate leads uh, using Clutch and, and other similar platforms. It gives us a lot of brand visibility. So there's a lot of different PR going into there. So you'll see that uh, it's November. So you'll see a lot of uh, um, li listings start publishing. Hey, these are the top 10 companies. Hey, this is the top five. This is the leader. Like Clutch going to be releasing um, 
top 1,000 companies uh, worldwide. Um, and uh, then other journalists start picking it up. Like everyone is like start referencing. So every all the agencies start saying, hey, I'm the top five, top four, top three. And everyone is looking, hey, who is the top one, right? So it's going to generate a lot of a lot of different traffic. So uh, so it's a lot of brand visibility. Um, obviously, expertise and authority and establishment. You know, like it's, it's the reality, but whenever you're the top one, your sales team is using that. So, um, like, I remember when um, in one of the key categories that I'm going to talk about um, in a second, uh, when science was the, the the top one, and we were like top two or top three, um, they used that as the selling point. So when they talk to someone with a client, they say, "Hey, well, we're the leaders. We are the top one." And then the clients like, "Oh, yeah. So you, you must do uh, something right, right?" So now Belkin's being the top one. We can tell that to the client, "Hey, we're top one in one category. We know what we're doing. Let's go, right?" So it's a lot of like expertise and authority establishment. And then it's a trust from potential customers, right? If you have five reviews or four reviews or ten reviews. And then your competitors has hundred reviews. Obviously, they will go with the competitor. I remember when I started, I I was inspired by the clump, a company called Client Boost. I'm, did you guys in the chat? Did you guys put in the chat plus if you know Client Boost? If you know what, what who I'm talking about? So Client Boost, Google Client Boost. So Client Boost is this advertising company, and when you go and check the, the reviews, they have something like. I don't know, like 2,000 reviews, something insane. So because they have so many reviews, obviously they've probably done some good job for the customers. So they might have a very good conversion. So again, trust with potential customers, right? So this is the, the design that I mentioned that uh, the, it, so this should, here you would have seen all the logos of, um, of where Belkins is listed. And here is a QR code that you can uh, you can uh, scan and you will go to the all the listings for all SaaS and all service companies. Can someone uh, put the plus in the chat if that QR code works? Uh, can Put in the chat if you were able to scan the QR code and it actually works and you were, uh, um, and you added like, can't access it, can't access. Um, Okay, so if um, if um, there is anyone from the Balkans, Anastasia, can you can you send in the chat uh, the link to the listings? Um, I'm sorry about that. Uh, someone from the Balkans team will go ahead and, and put that and, and put the link in the chat. So don't worry, I'll just kind of go ahead here. So all right, so we are the number one. So this is how sort of like profile on Clutch looks for us. And search something that I didn't know from the beginning, but something that you should pay a lot of attention to. So. First off, your ranking in the clutch also depends on how, what kind of leads you're gonna generate and how they're gonna promote you. So the service lining is super important. So the fact that, uh, um, uh, the fact that um, you can tweak the service lining will position you in each category different. And I'm gonna talk in a second about the different categories and important being with your one category, because like, for example, on Clutch, Belkins as an employment setting agency can be in a sales outsourcing, call center, CRM consulting, content marketing, email marketing, you name it, right? But then depending on what percentage of the service I have a focus, then it will help me to promote in certain category. So if I want to, if I know that uh, email marketing category generates the best number of leads for me, then what I'm doing, I'm putting my focus on the service lining of the email marketing, right? And then the sales outsourcing and call centers start being like additional uh, service offer, uh, service lining for me. So in the, because I know that the email marketing is the best for me. So um, here is um, the question that you might have, how would I know which service line fits better for where I am at, right? So there are two things here. First, you can, it's, it's just the testing, right? So what we did, we've, um, and this is something that uh, our um, um, our CMO back then did. He sort of like started tackling with the different settings to be able to see uh, which setting uh, kind of, or which service lining and which category provides more leads. So that's what we did in the very beginning. Now we also have a dedicated customer success manager who can tell us. So we look at the categories and we can t we can ask him, hey, these are the 10 categories. Can you tell me what is the traffic? What is the number of clicks? What are the average leads that I you see in that category? And then if that's the category for me, then I can kind of put my focus in in, 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 in there, right? So this, this service lining is super important. Um, Obviously, the, uh, your um, average uh, ACV is also important here as well. Um, um, price per hour is automatically calculated. But something that is very important really is the, 
your size because the the more people you're going to have um the higher your cost of subscription for college going to be so that's why um and i i hope there's no one from clutch here right if there's if anyone is from clutch team here put plus in the chat if there's no one from the clutch team then i can tell you a secret right so although balkans is already surpassed uh, uh you know 300 people we didn't change it here because once we change it uh we sort of like then our subscription is going to be more expensive, something like 20, 30 percent. So if we are spending about 10 grand on clutch this month, then it's going to be $3,000 more, which obviously I don't want to spend. Right. And uh, then uh, the question, well, if you spend, if you put the, that you have 300 people, what's going to, how it's going to affect your lead gen? It's not. So it's just sort of like, it's the, the clutch thing. It clutches thing to be able to you know make money of the bigger companies of the bigger size. But as longer as I can keep at the smaller size of the company and the clutch being the leader, the lower the subscription going to be for me. So please don't tell anyone. Don't tell that Michael told you this. Okay. Um, obviously, you can put the languages here. It's also important if you can support with the different languages. Uh, you know the time zone, etc. Uh, there's no. There's nothing here uh, here about the location. But uh, there's also a location part is very important here and the reason is that if you don't have a verified location on clutch you're not going to be um, listed on the local listing so for example if uh, you put that you you are uh, your your headquarters in the united states but let's say you have several offices and you didn't confirm that united states location um, and uh, you will see on your map on clutch that it's blurry that it's not like a clear visual map if that's going to happen then um, you're not going to be uh, positioned on the local listing. So if someone from the United States is going to Google like the best legion agencies in the U.S., and if you kind of are in the U.S. but you don't have a confirmed location, you're not going to be there, right? So what you need to do is to confirm the location, right? That you need to make sure that if you guys are international, uh, make sure that you confirm every location you're in. So Balkans have four offices, so we confirm four locations. So now we uh, can be listed in, 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 in different locations, right? So obviously... Every trading is very important. Total reviews are important. Um, um, and the reason is that um, if your average trading is below 4.5 or 4.4, then like, you know, like it's uh, no one going to be looking at you because like it's 4.4. It's like, you know, it's like when you go to a restaurant, you have a 4.9 restaurant and 4.4. So the 4.4 is like suspicious already, right? So obviously you don't want to have five, right? Because five is also weird, like, but 4.8, is like 4.78 and 4.9 are the, the, the great marks, all right? And obviously the total number of reviews, right? So anyhow, so these are the sum of the numbers that on average we're getting from Clutch across all the categories, right? So on average, about 2,000 people are reviewing our Clutch page. page. After that, um, about, you can see here, about 90% will go and actually click on, on, on the Belkin's website. Um, and and then out of that, we probably are generating something like 100 sales qualified leads. Uh, they are turning into about sales 65 average uh, opportunities. And then it's about between three to eight deals a month. So if you look at the conversions, so the conversions might be as low as 5% and can be as high as like 12%. So between 5 to 12% is average conversion per signed client, right? Um, and again, these are very, these are good numbers. And the reason is that obviously, although you can see there is a huge discrepancy between and the conversion between the website visits and actual leads is not as high. So it means that not all all the, 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 the sort of like the visits are, are qualified, but um, it doesn't mean that they need to go ahead and register right now. Maybe people are shopping around. So they will go ahead and visit again in a month or two months and so on and so forth. So um, that's why um, the, the idea is that the way your strategy for the clash can, can, can be is, oh, here you go. That's a new feature of, of the iPhone. Did you know, know the, the new iOS feature? Here you go. Hey. All right. So um, you might have two strategies. The first strategy is how I can have the, the, the best exposure Right. Like, for example, if you uh, if you go to Clutch and you see digital marketing, digital marketing has one of the best um, exposure. So it can generate like, you know, five times that in terms of the visits. Right. But in terms of the, uh, the conversions, actual conversions, that would be much lower. So your strategy might be into exposure 
or your strategy might be into actual conversion. So you don't care about the exposure as long as you can maximize your number of leads and opportunities. So we are trying to find the silver lining here, of course, because the for the exposure, you need to pay more because then you need to be listed in the more listings, right? And I'm going to talk about that in a second, right? But um, the conversions are also important because then actually you can add, um, generate your, uh, your kind of, you know, ROI here, right? Now, uh, the, the reason, the way how we are maximizing our conversion uh, to get more contacts, right, is, and I'm going to show you here in a second, um, is um, actually going to send you the link uh, in the chat right now. Um, so if you go to Belkin's page um, on Clutch, I'll send you a link in the chat here. Here we go. Um, you will see that we have a dedicated landing page for Clutch. So you can click on that from Clutch, then you will see, hey, welcome from Clutch. And then the, 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 the landing page was specifically designed to maximize the conversion. And once we, uh, when we um, deployed that landing page, it actually helped us to increase the conversion. So it's a small thing, but it actually, uh, you know, get a better job done. So um, that's why, like, if you are spending your money with Clutch, and with other platforms, and if it's going to take you additional hundred dollars to build or two hundred dollars to build a dedicated landing page, do that because um, you can remove all the fuss. Uh, because, like, obviously, the conversion from the landing page will be much higher than just forwarding people to my homepage, right? Because on the homepage, it'd be a totally different um, game, all right? So, all right, moving on. This is the funnel that we have uh, over the course of three years. So, uh, three years doing this with Clutch, we generated something like two thousand leads. Uh, we had uh, something like um, 506, uh, uh, five, uh, 560 sales qualified leads that turned into something like 400 opportunities. And then we've closed 85 uh, new clients um, as a result of this. So when we calculated our total spent on clutch, then our cost per lead was something like um, 100, 140 bucks, which is not high, but at the same time, it's not as low as you might expect. So that's why like for those, if you guys have an acquisition channel that is um, more effective than this one, right? If you, you have ads, if you have outbound, if you have organic, if you have social, if you can generate leads in my category, right? Uh, because you might, some of you guys might be in the lead gen space as well, but if you are, then that's what the numbers uh, we have you know, being the top position on Clutch, um, you know, three years, uh, three years in a row. Uh, but something that I worth mentioning is the sales cycle, right? If we're talking about the one deals, the sales cycle and the average ACV and then the retention rate of these clients is higher, of course, than with other channels. So that's something that you need to keep in mind, right? So, um, yeah, but then something that also worth mentioning is, these are the isolated funnel from the clutch, right? So if you look at this and you're like, okay, should I be on clutch, right? And then you might, as I mentioned, you might have some other channels that are more cost effective than this one, then the, the, the answer will be, fuck it, I don't need, right? I, I, it's better for me to go and, and do something else. That might be a good answer. But as I mentioned in the beginning of this presentation, that is also a trust building and the sales tool. So being top of the clutch also help with other channels. So if you generate leads from the outbound or from ads or from other channels, right? Being the top of the listings, being the top of the clutch would help you to close on a higher rate across the board, not just with clutch. So that's why when you think about this, it's not just about the market acquisition, but also about your sales cost and, and, and your sales effort. So again, look at this. Um, all right. So yeah, so I don't like the design of here. Sorry about that. So I'm just quickly going to tell you. So the top positions are secured through, pl through payments. Um, it's an auction. And then anyone can outbid with a higher bid. So here's how it looks. Like for those that um, haven't seen that, or maybe you've seen that, but here's how it looks. So um, these are like five top positions for the Balkans, right? So we have lead generation and services. We have sales outsourcing, appointment setting, call center and BPO companies. These are the top five best positions for me, right? These are the clicks that we get um, on, um, uh, you know, on, on our website from, from, from this position. You see there is a private profile view and the click through. The difference is that you can see that some people go to the listing and they go and just click on the website, 
right? So they even don't look at the, the, the profile, right? So you can see that about two, two, twice more people go directly to the website rather than checking the profile. The reason is that they go to the listing, they even don't drill down at the profile, just click on the website. So essentially, being on top of the list are more important than having the, the very nice profile inside. So if you sort of like kind of think and then you're like, okay, we're going to optimize our web, uh, our, our college page. We're going to put more cases. We're going to put the nice description. We're going to make it like fancy and all of that. Uh, think that 50% of the people would actually don't see that. They go straight to your website. So optimizing your landing page on the website actually can be more, uh, more, you know, more important conversion wise. Right. But anyhow, you have click through rate, you have page use and you have a position, right? So you can see that some of the positions here, we have four position, three position, and you can see here that essentially I can upgrade to the second or I can upgrade to the first one if I want to spend more. The reason we are not upgrading here is that we've seen that the conversion or the traffic from this position are lower from this one. So for us as the company, it's not beneficial to pay more conversion wise. So we are comfortable, let's say spending Let's say if, you know, let's say I'm spending one uh, $1,000 here and I'm top three, I'm okay with that because like we've analyzed that, let's say I wanted to, for me to go to gold, I need to then be platinum, I need to spend $3,000 more. And then let's say I will generate 20 more clicks or 15 more clicks. It just doesn't make sense, right? So uh, the, the, my message here for you guys, then there's no like done deal here. So as soon as you identify the, let's say top five listings that you have, try to optimize those listings and look per listing, right? And I'm going to show you in a second, like some other conversions here, but it's a bidding system. So uh, the the higher you are in the rating, the lower cost per bid for you going to be. So for example, if Belkins wants to bid in a different category, right? Then for us, the cost for a bid in that category would be much higher. So I can go and bid in the digital marketing space, like even though we don't offer digital marketing services, right? We, we do appointment settings. So uh, I can go bid with against them. Uh, so I would just need to pay to pay more. But if we were in that category, we're obviously going to be spending less. That's why it's actually a, an interesting model because then in this way, you're trying to stay in your lane. Um, but then if you're expanding your services, you're, you can sort of like, uh, you can use your profile to be able to compete with other guys. And like, for example, like what we did a few months ago, I think like six months ago, we tried to go into digital marketing just to see how traffic looks. And we've, let's say, spent $9,000. We spent three, four months in that category. We generated a lot of traffic. Uh, we we actually uh, ranked like number two or number three in the digital market, best digital marketing companies in the United States. And like uh, with, with sort of like not offering digital marketing, right? Uh, we get a lot of traffic, we get a lot of visits, very few conversions. And then we realize obviously traffic is not relevant for us, right? So, so the message here, uh, when you optimize your profile, identify the top listings, A-B test them, see which one works. Don't necessarily need to be on the top position, all of them, only to the ones that show you the best conversion of the best exposure and the ones that don't just be in, in a less position that, that you can be, all right? This is some of them. Uh, this is the results that we get from uh, from some of the listings. So again, apologize about the um, about the um, review, uh, about, sorry, about the design. I actually got to have my team um, changing the presentation for the YouTube, uh, for the recording. So when you're going to have recording, you're going to have a nice presentation here. So here, the, the, the way you see it is, uh, this is the number of leads we get. This is the number of sales qualified leads, um, number of opportunities, and the number of closed deals, and the number of uh, lost deals. So uh, per listing, right? So the way we measure it is like, Give me info per listing, how many leads I get, how many sales qualified opportunities, how many clients were the best conversion. And then obviously we realized that some convert like this one's like call center, right? We had zero clients, right? So although we might have exposure, we, we can be, uh, you know, in the top of the list, but it doesn't make sense for us to, to pay for it. So now because it's, it's for physician, right? Like because we're not closing. So that's why we're going that. But then, for example, lead generation have the, uh, and then uh, have the best um, have the best closing for us, the best exposure. That's why we are competing for the first position and we're going to be kind of, you know, in that, that category. Anyhow, so a few things for you because I know we have like some 10 minutes and then I'm open for the questions. So make sure that you put the question in the chat. I will go through all the questions. So if you think about the question, just put it, put it in the chat, all right? So factors that influence listing positions like 
quantity relevance and quality of uh, reviews. Again, very important to maximize how many reviews, what is the reviews, um, et cetera, et cetera. Something that don't a lot of people realize, but you know that for you to submit a review on Clutch, uh, you have uh, two ways. You can either do it uh, through the platform, directly go and submit a review on the Clutch, or you can call them and they ask you to submit by a phone. Reviews that are submitted by a phone have much higher rating than the ones submitted through the um, through the platform. That's why, like, if you have a customer that can actually call Clutch, uh, then it's better for them to 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 give Clutch a call than rather than uh, the same goes with, for example, um, private and open. So if uh, some if your clients are submitting the review where they he hiding their like their name or their company or something like private, um, they have a lower uh, uh, reputation than if it's like first name, last name, company name. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. So try again, I'm going to talk about how to work with the customers to sort of like maximize your reviews. But the point here is that, uh, you know, you need to always um, try to maximize whether it's a phone or it's an open and, and sort of like work with the customers. Uh, obviously a proven track record. So I, I didn't show you my our profile, but if you go to use our profile and click off our case studies, you're going to see that there is a lot of uh, different uh, case studies and um, a lot of different ROIs and metrics and information. So we're trying to keep everything up to date, not just with regards to our description, but actually putting our case study page uh, there as well. Um, company marketing efforts mean a lot. Uh, the reason is that, as I mentioned, like you generate the landing page, uh, there you also, and I'm gonna talk about that in a second, how to get, um, how to get position higher with Clutch. Uh, whatever you're doing with your marketing um, and with your PR is actually very important because the online presence. So actually, here's what I wanted to show you. So you have, for you to get on the top of the listings, you also not just need to have the reviews and pay more, right? But how you, you can pay less, right? That's the question. Like, okay, I can pay 20 grand to Clutch, I'll be top one, right? But what can I do to pay less? For you to do to pay less, you need to have your score. Belkins has four score forty out of forty, and we really spend a lot to get to this point. So the three things that affect the score: reviews, as I mentioned, number of reviews, quality of the reviews, uh, consistency of the reviews, etc., etc., etc. Client and experiences. This is um, about the actual uh, reviews that you are getting in terms of like what is the uh, rating of the review comparing to your competitors. And as well as your case studies, et cetera, et cetera. This one is one of the most hard, the, the, the most difficult to get. And the reason is that it's the market presence for you to get, you need to have industry recognition. So you need to have awards, not just award from Clutch, but others. So that's why um, what we did, uh, we have a, um, a PR specialist and one of her um, responsibilities is to actually work with um, award um, um, with, with, with sort of like award giving platforms, right? Like everyone who gives reward to enlist, participate, submit, work with them to be able to have those awards. Then we can sort of like submit to, uh, to here through clutch and then we can get this market presence. Um, and that was actually a funny thing. Like I remember 2021, we had like 9.8 or 9.9. .9. And because of that, uh, we ranked as number one uh, in the paid featured, but as number two uh, in the actual like top, right? No, not the one that we're paying for, but one that that. So the science was the first one. And we were like, what can we do to beat them? And they, um, they had the high rating because of the number of views they had, but their market presence was also low. So we, we maximize our market presence and we sort of like bid them to an inch to be able to, to rank higher. So the market presence is, is very important. So that's why going to the point about your online presence, right? So if you don't have a good online presence, you don't have dedicated people working with rewards, working with digital marketing, building landing pages, you cannot maximize their results of, of, or effect from the clients. That's why you need to pay more. And we, you know, we don't want that, right? Uh, size and the quality of the clients that the company works with. This is also very important because like if you... Uh, submit reviews with the clients mid-sized or enterprise. Um, obviously, P 
people on client or clients uh, that you're going to receive, they will notice that. So if they go and check your review and then all the companies are between 11 to 50 people, then the conversions will be, uh, you know, lower. And then also Clutch will put that you, are you servicing mid-sized companies, enterprise companies, small companies. So again, uh, this, this is, is, is very important. And then the number of metrics like reputation industry, HQ, number of offices, I already mentioned that to you, right? So you already have that. So we talked through that. Um, now, Talking about the one of the very important things here is the negative reviews, right? Like so, like what can you do as a service provider to minimize the negative reviews that you're getting? Because as clients are sign, you know, are adding their positive reviews, the same way they will be uh, adding the the negative reviews, right? So I don't have the exact answer to this question. However, what I want to say that if our strategy from the entire time of Belkins was to maximize our digital presence, maximize our sort of like reputation, build a good, strong reputation, maximize our work with clutch and other listings. We need to care about all the negative reviews. That's why if we have a customer that who is not 100% satisfied with the service we deliver, we will go one extra mile, two extra miles to be able to change that person's opinion. Because if they go and they put, uh, you know, 0 0.5 stars on clutch, then in our in our minds, right, the cost that we will spend or we are spending on our marketing will be much higher than the cost of additional service that we can offer for that customer for free for him or her not to go on clutch and, and submit that review. So that's our logic. So that's why our delivery team always maximizes working and impacting each and every customer, not just because of the reputation or not just because we care about the customer, but um, the, the reality is also we care about the reputation and we care about things like clutch, right? That's why really try to uh, build the process uh, in your business, in your agency, where you kind of maximize working with negative reviews, right? So, um, so here are the Belkin's best practices uh, of working with Clutch and other platforms similar to Clutch, right? So, all right, so we treat listings as lead generation channel, right? So every listing for us is the channel. That's why um, we have a dedicated person who is working with all these listings. So it's not a, just marketing thing. We have a dedicated, we call marketing operation specialist wh whose job is to work with different listings, update, maximize, um, optimize, uh, work with reviews, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we have tailored instructions for sales team on how to negotiate with clients. And I'll show you our dashboard in a second. So if you're staying with me uh, for another five, 10 minutes, I will show you our dashboard. Uh, as I mentioned, we have a dedicated individual who work with Clutch and with others on a daily basis. And we ensure that that person, um, you know, that person's KPIs to uh, to put us on top of of of, of the crowd. Uh, we mentioned reviews and awards on our website. Again, uh, when you go to uh, Belkin's website, scroll down, you're going to see award page, and on the award page, you can have C Clutch and other rewards. We also have awards in our signature section. Uh, we also have awards in our mailbox. We also have rewards on our LinkedIn page. So awards are great, right? They show trust and reputation, so um, they help. Um, similar to our email sequence for acquiring leads, we craft tailored emails to encourage clients to leave reviews. Yes, and I'm going to talk about a second about that. And then we set goals, KPIs for each platform. That's also true. So we're looking about this strategically. So when we know that we want it in two years to dominate G2, for example, like we've always put a lot of focus on clutch, but lately we start also thinking about the G2 as the platform. And we, um, so what, what happened was now, like this year and next year, we're focusing on maximizing our G2 work. So we work with them, with their team. We work with like optimizing A-B testing, figuring out what we can do better. And then we've actually seen some good progress and good results happening from that. So by strategically having a clear KPI per platform would also enable you to be more successful, right? So um, this is the sort of like the, 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 the five steps that I, if I were you, I would take. Um, you know, if, um, how, so the, the, the question here is, um, how I can get the review. So if you see the screen here, this is, um, I'm sure I cannot, I cannot zoom it. So if you can zoom it, um, so basically this is a sort of like the dashboard that we're using. The tool that we're using for those dashboards is plant hat. I actually, uh, everyone, I, I put the name in the chat. Um, 
I everyone I encourage you to if you don't have a customer relationship tool, not the CRM for the sales, but CRM for your existing customers. If you don't have and you use spreadsheets or you use HubSpot or anyone, use Plan Hat. So it's one of the best tools. If 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 you want to um for me to do the entire webinar talking about how we work with Plan Hat and what amazing things we do with Plan Hat, uh, put plus in the chat or just um, you know, send us an email, do whatever, or just in social, just, hey, Belgians, I want to, you know, how you use Plan Hat, right? And now can do a dedicated webinar about the Plan Hat. But this is a screen capture of the dashboard that we've, uh, we've created for our sales team, where you're going to have a client name, you're going to have their location, you're going to have the link to their clutch review. And by the way, you see here, this link to, to, to Google Drive. The reason the link is to Google Drive is Clutch has this weird system of reviews where if you put the new review, it changes the link of the old one. So you cannot actually link to a specific review. So what we do, we click on a review, we can download it. So in your profile on Clutch, you can actually download the review. And then we, we categorize review in our Google Drive with regards to their industry and their client. So now uh, every, uh, you know, every client have their review here. Uh, we also have the link to the case study if the client uh, submitted the case study as well as video testimonial. And we put their industry, their health, how much time they're with us, was their ACV, et cetera, et cetera. The reason why we did it in this fashion is our sales team have access to this dashboard. So whenever they need a, they work with the client or they prepare for the call, right? And then clients say, hey, can you send me you know, relevant referrals or case studies from uh, from my industry or whatever, right? What they do, they go to this dashboard, they filter based on the industry or client size or ICP or their location, and they all have all the links handy, like across the board, case study, review, YouTube, et cetera, and they just bump that to, to the customer. Obviously, that helps a lot their customer journey, right? So, um, so that's why, um, because we have this sort of like dashboard, right? Now we can think about like, okay, these are all the clients that we work with. These are all the submitted the review with the good health, right? But then here are the customers that have a good health that been with us and they didn't submit the review. And there might be a lot of those, right? So now the way we are doing is that we have this process of detecting the right customer. So depending on where we as the company are heading with regards to our acquisition, let's say, uh, next month, we're going to be focusing on top three industries, advertising, marketing, computer software, healthcare, right? So we go and we analyze how many testimonials, case studies, video testimonials we have for those industries because we know that our sales team is going to attack those industries next month. So we as a marketing team, the way we are doing this, we are going to that dashboard. We are checking whether we have enough reviews, video testimonials, and case studies to be prepared for the next month. If we don't, then our operation specialist that works with the reviews go and start working with our delivery team to identify the customer that can leave those reviews, work on those case studies, create the video testimonials quickly. Then we have the entire process of uh, sort of like working with that customer. Um, and obviously our account managers have some weekly calls so they can might just communicate with the customer if the customer give this summed up. And then we have a guide, like we've created a library or like step-by-step -step guide to help to guide the customer uh, to, to simplify the process of submitting the review. And I'll be honest with you, like you have 10 customers, they're super happy with you. They're your raving fans. They are the, you know, they're your the best partners. You've done an amazing job for them. You ask them, guys, can you submit the review for us? They will tell you, absolutely, Michael, 100%, we're going to do that. You know how many will actually... Out of 10, put in the chat the number, out of 10 customers, how many would actually submit the review uh, after you ask them and say, you sure, how many? About 25 to 30%. Yes, so two or three customers. Exactly, that's right. And the reason is that they all are super busy. Uh, they all just have some other things. They all love you, but then they don't need to spend time or they just forget about that. So you need to follow up. So having the right process and simplifying for the customers to actually get them to that point and being persistent about that is the game changer. So if you have a customer who committed to submit this review, you have follow up once, twice, three times, give them the guide, work with them, do that with them, and you actually persistently get them to the finish point, 
you can actually maximize that. So obviously out of 10, not all will submit, but at least seven or eight will submit in that way. But you need to be professionally so, so persistent about that. Once we realize that, and once we actually even put this as the KPI for our delivery team, so our account managers have different KPIs. And one of those KPIs is actually marketing KPIs. So they have a certain number of reviews per client they need to get per month to get to uh, their success month or their successful KPI. Think about that, right? So if until we didn't implement that as a very rigorous process, we couldn't push the needle because of clients are too busy. The account managers have some other things happening, right? Like, so marketing was always struggling how we can maximize that. And once we created this, uh, once we created this nice dashboard, uh, once we have, uh, you know, uh, kind of created this nice process, it starts happening, right? So these are, you can make a screenshot. I don't want to spend time on this uh, about like what's, uh, what you can do to maximize your profile. But really uh, the game changer is having this clear dashboard, having a clear map and clear strategy to maximizing this and then having a dedicated person and then every team should be invested into maximizing this. You're going to be, you know, a, a winner in this. And obviously that's going to be a huge, a amazing sales tool for, for your sales team. All right. Now, I want you to scan this QR code. This is the QR code for my newsletter. Every, if you are not signed up yet, every Friday I push a, a newsletter, I issue a newsletter where I provide all of that that I just described, described to you in a very great detail manner. And this is actually my job. So Belkin's actually run, uh, um, run itself. We have a great leadership team. So what I'm doing is I'm focusing on sharing, right? So as I said, like I've been in the trenches, now I'm sharing. So if you scan this QR code, you sign up. I already issued three editions. Um, a force is coming tomorrow. And then every week at 12 p.m., I'm going to hit your inbox with, uh, with, uh, with the blueprint of how we build the Balkans with all the secrets, all the tools, all the links, everything. So we even don't need to do all, the, all these webinars every time. So if you are reading that, um, and it's a long read, so... I just want to tell you that I put all the numbers, all my thoughts, everything in there. So it's not going to be a, a short newsletter with three links. No, it's going to be a 10, 15 minutes read. But um, again, um, all right. So uh, thank you so much for your attention. We still have 16 minutes uh, and I have your questions here. So what I'll do, let me go and just kind of start uh, pulling the questions real quick. So if you have some questions, put them in the chat and I will answer those questions. So let me start from the beginning here. All right. So um, Alex asks here, so this is not really a good point about the importance of clutch. Well, no, uh, I know a company who paid 40K for being in the end of the first 10 in the web development. So I don't really understand that our leads understand that. Oh, so it's about the, the Alex. So it's, it's a great point, but Think about that as the long-term strategy, right? Like when we started Balkans and we didn't have a budget, right? We we had like our closest competitors, like we have Callbox, we have Science, we have amazing guys from Sales Rows and, and, and all this, right? They they had three, 30, 40, 50, 70 reviews, like, and we had like two, three, right? So we started to kind of maximize that review by review every year. And once we start adding the volume, like last year, we added like eight reviews, right? Like, because we have more customers, right? So, but we structure that process. So you can, so like, I don't encourage you to pay for clutch, um, $40,000. Uh, I think that you might be able to find some other sources to generating leads uh, for software development at that price point, uh, of course. Uh, but I think that you need to organically grow in those and, and, and try to be the competition. Maybe not necessarily clutch. There are some other platforms that uh, can be open. For example, like we didn't think about the G2, now we work on them. We have good firms, we have Trustpilot. So, so there's some, the, there's the new ones that are happening and, and starting. So just think about that. Okay, Yana asked here, does paid subscription influence lead generation dramatically? Yes, it does. Because the, the way it works, Yana, is uh, when you click on the listing. Uh, so if you go and you Google best B2B lead generation companies, the, the second link will be for clutch. You click on the clutch and then you will see the, the featured promoted list first. And this is a small button on the top of the screen and not many customers will be changing to recent or changing to top or organic or whatever. So it actually affects, affects a lot. Um, all right, Sergey asks here, how about annual subscription on Clutch? It's crazy idea for them. Do you have a problem with canceling annual subscription? 
Sergey, I I'm not paying our annual subscription. I like I know everyone cares about their cash flow right now. And if anyone suggests me right now to pay for a year for anything, I wouldn't go for that. Like maximum three, 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 three months, quarter. So quarterly subscriptions. So I mean, like if they offer a, an annual subscription, then either it's a good deal or you just want to you spend that marketing budget uh, because you, know, you want to optimize your, your, your tax, right? So uh, I don't know, but I we never pay for a year. It's, we pay for quarter and then we pay for some so for someone monthly. Um, uh, all right, should I, cl uh, should a class profile description and reviews be SEO optimized? Um, no, I, I don't think that they should be SEO optimized. They should be conversion optimized. So I uh, think about that as the business card. Think about that as the first message that customer will 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 sort of like view when they read that. You need to capture attention, right? Like we we had this message about like your customers are ready to talk shop. Are you? Question mark, and we sort of like help use that to sort of like capture their attention. So I think you don't need to optimize it by uh, based on SEO. You just need to optimize that based on the conversion and p play around with different, uh, um, you know, uh, with different uh, descriptions. But as I showed you before, right? It's not about the description. It's about the place and and this like rating and the numbers and then so on and so forth. So. Uh, yeah. Uh, did you test feature listing? Do feature listing work better than classic sponsorship in listing? Um, Alexandra, it's a great question. I don't have answer for you for that one. I think like sponsorships are the best. Um, I, I I don't think that featured would uh, you know would 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 sort of like um, so sponsor not the best, and then featured will be I think second. Does it make sense to test paid sponsorship if the sponsor if the proposed listing position is below ten percent? Yes, it, it it does. So um, I, when you go to a listing, the first like five positions are seen. And by the way, we tested the second and first position, and the the numbers are something like forty percent. So in a way, like if I'm the top one, and then the top two, forty percent of the people click class. But here is when it's what's it, what is interesting. The rating is also very important. So if you compare Belkins and Science, and Science has 4.4, uh, and we had 4.9, even if we are on the second position, some ratings, because we have a higher rating on the lower position, we generate the same number of clicks. Because like if you have the number one 4.4 and the number two 4.9, logically you're like, oh, these guys have higher, but these are the number one. I want to check both. So that's kind of the like the you know psychology uh, works, but I definitely think that you need to to work on the tech. How can we get the recording? So recording will be sent to your email address, the one that you used for the recording for this uh, webinar. All right, um, Alex asks, what is the best strategy for the software development company in Clutch with three four k monthly Clutch budget? Wow, uh, Alex, that is a good question. I didn't look at the software development category for Clutch, to be honest with you. Um, and I think that the problem with the software development um, generally um, is that you you either work with mid-sized or enterprise customers, so you don't have volume of customers, or if you have, so the idea is that if you wanted to start working on and, and start kind of all-in on Clutch in 2023, they need to have volume, right? Like, for example, Belkins have hundreds of ongoing clients right now. So if 6 or 70% of clients are super satisfied with, with, with our work, we can generate, you know, like 50, 100, 200 reviews every year, right? And if you work with like 10, 20, 30 clients, you just can't get the volume enough to, to beat the competition, right? So um, so now you, you think you need to think about the volume, how you can, where you can get the, 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 the clutch reviews. Uh, maybe you can ask some of your partners. Maybe you can ask clients of the clients. Maybe you can give some other promotion. I don't know. Maybe you can maximize client every 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 time you, you can. You know what we did? We actually put, um, we put in the contract that um, if you're happy with our work, we wanted, we would use your, uh, we will use uh, your company name and uh, in, in our marketing materials, including clutch in some, in something like that. So uh, in this way, we can maximize that um, as well. But uh, to be honest with you, I think that for three, 4,000 budget, um, I think that I will, um, I will look for some other sources. I wouldn't say, I, I, Honestly, like if I were in software development and I have clutch, I would probably get to a point where I'm comfortable in my rating, let's say top ten or something. But um, but then I won't I won't pay I won't pay just just the the, the bare minimum. Okay, uh, Ira ask here: Do you offer some presents or bonus to clients for their reviews? Um, it's a 
You know what? It's a great question, Ira. So yes and no, again, depending on our needs. So if we know that in November, there will be this new top 100 best companies in the world that will be calculated based on the number of reviews, and we really wanted to make sure that we are the number one, then we, I might go to our delivery team and say, hey guys, we need 20 more reviews quickly. Can you check in with a customer that didn't let the review yet? Give them the special prize, they give them promotion, give them the perk, do something for them, like a referral, client referral perk or something for them to maximize that. In this way, yes. Or if I know that the number one is, I'm just a few inches from the number one and I need to get there, then I can do that, right? But just generally, uh, giving a promotion for the customer, they're happy we're not doing that in case we can get it for free, of course, right? Because like every promotion, every special price, everything costs for the company a lot, especially when you do that at, at scale. So every, you know, $100 uh, Amazon card costs it as well. But uh, again, just depending, it's, it's case, uh, case, uh, case by case, all right? So Ramil, yes, we're gonna get the recording. Thanks a lot. Uh, all right, so what else we have? So it's possible to buy sponsorship for a month or quarter only annual subscription. Is it right? No, Alex, actually, we are buying sponsorships depending on the listing, but some listings have a monthly subscription and some have a three month subscription. But I think that um, right now they have the three months only. Uh, yeah, but again, the thing is that I'm their old customer, so maybe they're going to have some exceptions for you, right? Right. But what I think is like Clutch, as any other company, they're in business of making money, right? So if you reached out to your dedicated customer success guy on the 29 or 30 of the month, like, like before their month ends, and they have their own KPI and they have their own bonuses based on the sale, you can tell them, hey, I'm ready to spend... Uh, I'm ready to sign up. I'm ready to give you my four four thousand dollars if you're gonna give me a monthly a monthly uh, monthly fees or something like that. I'm sure that they will be more talkative back that at, at that point, right? So it's it's more about the interactions, right? Also, something that very um, important to for you to know, guys, um, Clutch and other they are like partners. So treat them as the relationship, not treat them as just the listing that you are there. Because like they can give you much more than just getting listed, right? So uh, with that being said, build a relationship with them. One of the mistakes that my marketing team uh, made in the past was that they didn't, did, didn't build a good relationship with Clutch and other. So when I stepped in in the chief marketing officer role, uh, one of the first thing I did, I started being more active with Clutch. I did some collaboration with them, some articles, some webinars. I, I started talking about my experience with Clutch. I, I started being more active getting on some calls with them. And in this way, they were more active and, and they were considering us more as the partner. So it's it's more about sort of like the, the relationship rather than just kind of, uh, you know, just being like one of theirs. So that's why I like really um, invest in that relationship and you will see much uh, much um, higher result. Uh, right, right. I think that one of my next newsletters, I'm definitely going to talk more about this, but um, um, I'm actually publishing tomorrow about the different business models. I think that a lot of you guys should might, might be interested in, in that one specifically because I compared the, uh, like, we have people here that do software development, right? Like you have project-based, per deliverable, uh, per hour, uh, outstaffing, retainer, commission, you name it. There's so many of them. And uh, Balkans went with the retainer uh, model and I explained why we're doing the retainer and how this can might affect your scale and 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 and, and generally the life cycle of, of, of your agency. So it might be uh, very interesting. And then uh, my next newsletter is obviously going to talk about um, how to get first clients, how to scale, uh, what to do with chart, what to do with acquisition, and, and and so on and so forth. So, all right. Do we have any other questions? We have three more minutes. So if anyone has any questions about the clutch or I can answer any other questions about just generally marketing or, or Belkins, I will be happy to, uh, to do that. Um, if we don't have questions, I think that's, that is it that I wanted to. All right. We have a question from Andres here. For self-development as a service, uh, are there any more tips? Um, how can I subscribe for the newsletter? So I will, I will put, uh, I will put, uh, I will go to the slide to show the newsletter. Nick, uh, give me a second here, and then to answer Andres' question, uh, let, let me just put the the newsletter here real quick. Um, all right, so here's the newsletter. Scan the code, and then you'll 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 have that. So. 
really tips for software development, um, Andre, um, um, Andres. So hire a marketing specialist. Even though you guys might be a great product, maybe uh, you have a great solution, a great engineering, marketing is one of the first people you hire. You need to build brand, you need to um, you, know, you need to build your marketing, and it's a long game. So the sooner you build the core, the sooner you're going to find the right marketing people on the job, the better. Don't outsource marketing. Marketing is key, right? So although software development companies are, are used to be engineering driven, uh, I, uh, one of the best things that that we did we were obviously being sales and marketing driven as the company because that got to help us with you know with help us in COVID and help us with this recession. And it help us with with others. So you know, hire a marketing uh, specialist. Is that right? Then, second of all, um, obviously, um, utilize your customers for video testimonials, case studies, reviews, um, referrals. You name it. Like just use that. Like go on LinkedIn. Like build the relationship. Feature them. Just kind of speak about that. Speak about the great product you're doing. Right. Third is like be very um, concrete. No fluff. Like really tell your unique IP intent, right? Like don't talk about the general stuff, like talk about your unique things, right? Like something that we realized, I think like last year, where like we produce so much marketing, but it's a it's a copywriting. It's like a marketing. It's just for the sake of traffic, for the sake of organic, for the sake of this. Can we create more meaningful, more intent, more hours? Like what we are doing every day that we can share, that, 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 that is us, right? That is ours. So we start generating more and more uh, intent, more and more IP, more and more like sharing what is our unique, what is our unique perspective, not something that we have found or copied or something and that helped a lot especially in the case studies like actually talk about what you've done even though it might be too technical but that's fine like when i'm doing this newsletter like i had some feedbacks about people that it is a great newsletter but some people say oh it's too long it's too concrete but then when i think about this i was like hey i really wanted to share all the thoughts that i have ideas and for people to actually think about themselves like oh well I love that. Or, oh, it got me thinking about this one. Like when you, when you read like, like some, some novels, right? Like you just kind of learn from it and grow professionally. And if I like to have a long read, fuck it. Like it's, I'm sure that there will people that would appreciate that. The same goes with, uh, you know, with, with having not just the optimized case studies, but the actual that, that, that work. All right. Uh, Ante here. How can I subscribe to newsletter? I have it here. Off topic question from Nick. As I understand, your team is Russian speaking and you are working in the US market. Do you speak English internally as the prime language? Uh, yes, Nick. So we actually are Ukrainians and we have an office in Ukraine and uh, we have offices in Colorado, uh, Dower, Chicago, and we have something like 30% of our team in North America and in Europe. In Europe, actually, are more now. But English is our main language in Slack. Uh, everywhere, like our notion, everything is in English, of course. And uh, when you have a whole hands meeting, everyone is comfortable. Everyone is, is speaking English. Although if people are chatting in Ukrainian together, that's uh, that's fine with us. But like everything is obviously in, in, in English. And then um, obviously we have a... Um, and actually I, I speak about that. You know what? Check the third and fourth uh, newsletter when I talk specifically about the strength of being international, as well as um, uh, tune in to my next newsletter that I'll publish in a week. I actually wrote it already. We actually talk about um, uh, how we were able to be uh, the best pony setting company in the United States with the, me being Ukrainian, the leadership being some of the Ukrainians, as well as, uh, you know, we have a huge chunk of liberty in Ukraine, and we are not considered to be an outsource company, right? So we are not outsourced. We're not selling it for cheap. We're a premium provider with with a with, with a high monthly subscription, but with the high quality of the service because COVID changed everything, right? So it's not about where you're based out of. It's about what you know and how you do that. And we've seen a lot of great international companies happening there. Okay, so thank you so much for your time. It's uh, it's all for today. Thank you so much, guys, for joining in. Please make sure that. Um, you follow our um, um, our social, you follow our um, webinars, you follow our YouTube because we are publishing a lot of those. And believe me, every next webinar, every next piece of content that you're going to see from us will include only about what we've done, what we know, what we think about. And, um, and then obviously 
we are sharing, we are caring. So thank you so much. Again, have a great rest of your day. Slava Ukraini, Heroi Slava. Okay, thank you guys. Take care.